Hello, my name is Zan, and today I got for you the Resurrection Remix 7 Battle Dot 2 Base 109 Pi for the Galaxy J7 2016. Let's go ahead and take a look. So, first and foremost, let me go ahead and show you the version of Android uh, that I have on the Resurrection Remix. It's right here, it's on Android 9 and uh, the Resurrection Remix 7 Battle Dot 2 um, on the June 11th build. So this is the uh, very recent build, just built just 4 days ago as of shooting this video. And there are definitely going to be a lot of cool things within the, Resur the Resurrection Remix ROM itself. Um, but uh, first let me go ahead and go through all the features that you can expect from, the, uh, from this ROM. Um, based on Android 9 Pi. You're probably way too familiar with uh, Android 9 Pi and all of the features that it brings with and so I'm not gonna uh, revisit uh, all of that. Uh, in fact if you want, if you're not, if you have, haven't been familiar yet, you can look, you can take a look at my older videos that I posted uh, right on the bubble up there. Uh, right now I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what all the features that the Resurrection Remix ROM has in store. Uh, because this ROM is so heavy in customizations, there's just a lot of things to change and to uh, uh, goof around with. Uh, now, to uh, begin with, you can see that this is the Resurrection Tools right here. And um, I'm just, I'm, you're just gonna pause this video to look at all of those features for yourself. I'm just gonna go scroll through of these all at once. Um, if you want to look at something, you can pause the video and look at that for yourself. But I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, in fact, I'm just going to go through some of the features that uh, I really love from the Resurrection Remix itself. Now, one of which is the uh, Face Auto Unlock. So you're probably way too familiar with the uh, trusted face that Google provides. That provide that has the uh, face that, that is pretty much um, a face unlock but every time you want to unlock your phone you have to swipe to unlock which is very annoying but with the resurrection with the resurrection remix ROM there is an option to make the system go unlock right away as soon as it rec recognizes your face so I'm just gonna demo right here you can see that I got the, the face icon and you can put my face in right just um, I need to re need to recognize my face a little bit more there we go, so it unlocks uh, without having to be a swipe. Let me do that again, right? There we go. I, I don't need to swipe the screen, I just have to put my face in and it unlocks uh, automatically, which is really nice. Now another thing that I really like from this ROM is the edge gestures, right? If you go in, into the edge gestures and enable it, um, it will pretty much uh, enables this really cool, really uh, familiar gesture navigation that you see from the iPhone. You can see that I can just swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold for the recents, and you can swipe from the edges, right? I just go to the Play Store here. All right, if I swipe from the edge, it, it goes home, right? Swipe from the, the left, left side of the edge, on the left or right side, it takes me home. And you can, uh, if you notice closely, closely, you can actually see uh, the arrow. You know, when I swipe, there's an arrow. There's a, this transition, this animation. That's really cool. That's actually from uh, Android Q, and uh, it's actually right. It's actually right there on the uh, the remix ROM. Now, another small things that I also love is the ability to adjust the quick settings grid. Right? You know that on the stock Android. You only are defaulted to um, uh, you default to three by three grid on the quick settings. But now with the Res Res Resurrection Remix, you can pretty much uh, overkill it with even more. So if you hit this edit button and tap on the three dot button right there, you can see you can change co the column, the rows, or the same on landscape, or you can enable disable the, the, the labels, right? Which makes it a lot cleaner. Right? Which is stuff I really like when I like Pi. Now another very cool convenient uh, convenience that they brought up about here is the Volume HUD. You know that the Volume HUD is right here, right? But with the, with the Remix ROM, you can actually expand the, the, the Volume HUD 
and do whatever you want on this volume activity right here. You don't have to go right into the settings just like what you do on stock Android, which is really annoying to me. Uh, but with the Remix ROM, they made it really convenient to do that. And uh, also, uh, there are also some nice add-ons that they have made, uh, which is the one-handed mode, right? If you enable right here, you can pretty much screen, string your screen down to a 4 or 5 inch uh, to, to allow for a better one-handed usage. And uh, we also have a gaming mode, I believe, right there. Gaming mode, uh, which disables all the hardware keys and uh, block all notifications in order to, um, you know, make your game experience better. So those are all of the features, um, some of the notable features that I really love with uh, the Remix ROM. Uh, next up, what is really working and not working with this ROM? And what are the bugs that you should expect? Uh, well, for starters, um, all the basic uh, compulsory features are working. We got the Wi-Fi working just fine. I got. Uh, I did not. I do not have a SIM to test out for voice quality and uh, and uh, cellular data to cellular connectivity like 3G and LTE. Uh, but I heard from people from the in the Telegram group that I uh, am in that uh, they all they both all work just fine. So uh, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, also. Uh, flashlight, everything, uh, flash is working here as you can see, it's working just fine, uh, I got the Google system working via the, okay Google, okay Google, okay there we go, so it does work just fine, um, but if you use the uh, home button, so press and hold the home button to go to, go to assistant, it does not work, instead it takes you to Google app, alright, and that is a bit of a miss reading things for me. Uh, if you use the on-screen navigation bars then it will work but uh, if you use the hardware keys it will not work. Um, also performance is exception it's acceptable uh, with this ROM. With a customizable ROM like this uh, performance should take a hit but uh, it's not in this case. It's been pretty good for me. Uh, apps do have some delays when I try to you know launch something too quickly you know it might take some time to load but uh, overall, it is a decent performance but, uh, in the, with the ROM. Um, RAM management is sort of good. It's not uh, bad, but it's also not good either. Uh, compared to Linux OS 15 that I used in the past, it, should have, it is a long way to go. So that's uh, all of the features working on uh, Linux OS uh, on this uh, Remix ROM. Now, what are, what are the things that is buggy or not working? Well, honestly, there's a, it's a pretty long list. Uh, like right off the bat, there is the Bluetooth uh, thing. Bluetooth works. I was able to connect to my uh, wireless earphone, but the quality is terrible. It's you know it's mediocre, mediocre at best. Um, you know it's fine, but the the, the track kept skipping, uh, the music kept skipping parts, and then it's just very annoying. Uh, also, again, as I mentioned before, the, uh, the press and hold the home button for, for assistant does not work. You have to use the on-screen navigation bar for that. Also, some Samsung, since this is an AOSP ROM uh, and not a Samsung ROM, you're going to lose all the Samsung features uh, that you usually expect, like Samsung Theme, Samsung Pay, Samsung Health. And we got also have a real LTE, NFC not working on this ROM either, right? Because they require a Samsung modem or Samsung code to do that. Um, also, the camera is extremely, un extremely unstable. Like, you know, if you use the, um, uh, this app is the foot t footage camera. I mean, it's fine. Like it takes picture fine. The quality is, uh, again, it's, it's, it's terrible though. But if you uh, try to launch, like say the video mode, for example, it will crash. You can see it just kept crashing. Uh, if you use the uh, Google camera right here uh, and you go to the video mode, then it will work and it will record just fine. But uh, yeah, it's not stable. It kept crashing. It crashed pretty often to me. Also, sometimes, also sometimes the recent keys can kind of act uh, off. Uh, it's not. It's not my phone's fault though, because I kept. I switched back to stock ROM and it worked just fine. 
and then it switched back to this ROM again and it had this issue. So it's a more of a software thing. Uh, sometimes it can like go like twice, uh, like and it, it is intended to. That's, that's another feature, uh, another bug. But by far the biggest bug that I have been encountered so far is the deep sleep. Deep sleep basically controls your idle battery management. Without that, your battery, uh, battery life, especially in the idle state or when the device is asleep like this, it's gonna drain like crazy. It's gonna like drain like like molasses, you know. Uh, just to give you an idea, it's just uh, the, the the status that I have. Right, if you use a like a kernel auditor or CPU spy, you can really see it for yourself. You can see this unused frequencies in deep sleep, right? This which is which, which means that deep sleep is not working, right? Uh, when it sleep, when it at sleep, it kept uh, running at like 300 megahertz, which is still consuming and ba very 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 consuming. So that's uh, the biggest thing, and you know the result. Battery life on this ROM is terrible. Especially when I just leave it there, I don't do nothing. It's just terrible. And one last thing, uh, Geekbench just does not work. Uh, my CPU, uh, my CPU test kept crashing the app. Uh, I did. I was able to test the compute test though. It was at 2651, which is a little bit better than stock ROM. Um, also, and to do score has been a little bit of a a strange thing, very very abnormal scores. Uh, if you just go ahead and take a look right there, this is one of my scores that I have. Like, what the heck is this? 118,000. Like, how could on, on how on earth could a chase seven run at at this score? Huh? This is very very uh, bizarre. All right. Uh, this score is abnormal here. I run a second time, and it, you know it is lower, but it is still abnormal. Okay, so. Uh, and to do is not working well. Geekbench crashes, so I couldn't really get a clear view of how this phone performs. But uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier, it's still really good. And one last thing: the whole stability of the ROM is questionable. You know, like I use some of the uh, features on the the Resurrection Remix ROM that I found really nice, like Slim Reasons. You know, it enables this really mm, cool looking recent, recent app menu here. But, you know, look at what I, I, I end up with, you know, a crash. Yeah, a system UI crash. This is something that a lot of, not, not a lot of uh, uh, people can stand. You know, especially when it comes to um, you know, using this phone as a daily driver. It's not going to be uh, something that you can, you know, uh, tolerate. And that's pretty much uh, wraps up my verdict on this ROM. It's good, it's fast, and it's very future rich, but it's very unstable. And I don't say it's unstable, but you know, it's a lot of small bugs that will really affect your daily usage. And um, if I were to choose a ROM for stability, for uh, customizations, and AOSP, I would go for Linux OS or Pixel Experience. Uh, sure, they don't have as many customizations as this ROM, but they are very fast and they are very stable and uh, for daily use. <laughs> well, if you want to go more stable uh, and you don't care about stock Android, you can go back to stock ROM or a one UI ROM like Blackbird or Refine Pi or the recent J7 uh, NXT port. They are much better, much more stable. Uh, so that's what I have to say about this ROM. Hope you like this video and hope you find this video useful and informative. Uh, if you if you do, uh, hit the like button down below. And if you really love this video and you, you want to support my channel, hit the subscribe button down below for future videos like this. Anyways, thank you and goodbye.